This is the second collaboration we've done with the Royal Exchange. We did our first one in the summer last year. Very often people have even slept on the steps of the Royal Exchange and they walk past it every day, but it's not a building they felt is, is part of their lives. And we've been able to really change that. The whole idea is to help guys and gals who, who um, have had some problems in the past to regain confidence and acting helps. You, you get this kind of spirit of bonding and helping each other. Oh, it's a drama that we're doing. It's, um, it's, a, it's called Go Away and Think About It. The play is uh, a futuristic sort of play about people's thoughts and how they perceive different things that they're told. And it's where thinking has been banned. But um, there's an underground movement that is trying to bring it back. People are always thinking about different things, whether it's been do with work, money, food, living. It's all them things. Trying to make people think of their own, make their own definitions of what they see. So let's, let's uh, be prepared to the market. As a company, we all just pull together. And so, some of these lads are sleep, at the moment, sleeping rough and, and still learning the lines. I'm still on the streets, so I'm still drinking. So I neglect to uh, put the effort in to... Um, read the lines, uh, and this week, this last week, I've become overconfident and not really read the script, but that, that, that showed today in, in my rehearsals, I wasn't really up, up to it. I think it's just the buzz of being on the stage and everybody looking after each other and being fully involved is what it's all about, really. Enjoy the bonding as well with other people. Um, you know, and you, you become good friends. The sheer getting together, the practice, the camaraderie, you know, the, the whole thing is friendship. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals. I've invited friends and some in my family, my son and my daughter-in-law. I've got my gran, who's coming in a, um, a scooter, and I've got my half-brother, and I've got my mum people go and watch us and they're not there to have a laugh or anything they fully understand how hard and difficult it must be for, for us to do this but we all thoroughly enjoy it and I'm sure it'll be all right on the night I'm very nervous about tomorrow night because I don't think we're because this time last year we had it to a tee but after the rehearsals today it's just like it's wrecked my brain in a way so I'm gonna have to put a lot more effort into it like tonight I will Tonight, we're going to be investigating the latest craze to hit the streets. Thank you. Oh, we're brilliant tonight. The best bit for me is knowing that I could do it. We thought that one really well tonight. Uh, much better because we had a few problems in rehearsals at the beginning of the day. But I think everybody was not so much word perfect, but just confident with each other, and it was a fantastic feeling when we finished. Everything's just come together. Um, we, we hoped it would, uh, we planned it to, and we really feel as though everything just gelled tonight, even as a cast, as, as a company, we've just all pulled together and helped each other out, and we've got there. My mum loved it, but she, she was in tears in the end. She was, she was overcome uh, with emotion, uh, I think it's because she actually saw me doing something constructive. Um, and um, seeing that, you know, I'm not just destitute on the streets, but I'm actually doing something constructive, and she was proud of me. I really like the play. I um, really like the ideas in it, and you could really feel all the characters, each of the characters uh, really come out, and, you know, I sort of fell in love with, it, with each of the characters. I just thought it might be a laudable attempt to do something worthy, but in fact it was it was way, way beyond that. It, it, it was uh, it had a pace and a, and a presence and a content that was you know, really quite, uh, well, amazing. There's no buzz like getting out there and seeing people at the end of the performance smiling. After the final bow, I think we all felt that we, we did well. Yeah, we did. Marvellous, brilliant. The, the feelings are really high. Oh, the cast have felt wonderful in themselves and they think it's gone brilliant. 
I wouldn't say no if you asked me to do it again. Um, it just gives you such a great feeling. I'm going into detox a week from today, and that's my main aim from now, just to get off the drink and get off the streets.